This is my Orion Atlas EQG mount and I'm going to build a cart for it so I can move it in and out of the yard without needing help. I'm using some uh, 3 inch aluminum channel I've had laying around uh, for a while for the frame. The tires are 10 inch pneumatic and I went to a caster in front to simplify construction. The T-frame could be made out of angle iron uh, or even 4x4s. I would use pressure treated uh, wood if I made it out of uh, the 4x4s. I later learned that this uh, aluminum was about $300 worth of aluminum. Fortunately, I had it laying around and didn't have to buy it because that would be really steep to build this thing. This is the axle. I took a piece of one inch round, uh, drilled and center, uh, centered and drilled the uh, uh, end of it for a uh, 5 8 16 bolt to hold the wheel on. I turned the shaft down to uh, 5 8 which would fit the hub of the wheel. Then drilled and uh, tapped the hole so it would bolt to the bottom of the frame. And uh, those are also 5 8 16 because I had a bunch of those laying around. And that's the tire I got from Harbor Freight. They were $5 each, which is pretty darn cheap. There's the uh, axle mount. This is the uh, uh, actually the front piece. I notched it uh, in a kind of an L shape and bolted it flat and added on these uh, uh, angle pieces to stiffen it up so it doesn't sway. And it turned out really solid, really nice. Uh, those uh, angled pieces were uh, throwaways from a job site. I don't know where you'd buy them, but they were kind of cool. Then um, uh, this is how the axle turned out, how it mounted to the frame. And the wheel turns, and it turns on both sides, believe me, even though I don't show you. Uh, now the uh, next thing will be to take and build the uh, gooseneck for the front tire to uh, so it will turn. And I want to build it so that the thing will sit level uh, when it's just static so that I don't have to uh, worry about things uh, tipping any. This is the way the gooseneck turned out. I took a piece of 3 inch uh, that channel and, and cut it about 6 inches tall and uh, L, uh, put an uh, L bracket down in the bottom, bolted that on. And I also notched it uh, like I did the back piece so that it would fit straight down and flush. Uh, the uh, Put that angle piece on uh, to stiffen it up and it's really stiff and I really want to take and redo that and tie it into the top piece also. With that front angle piece though it's uh, very solid. It doesn't, doesn't move at all. And that's how it looks sitting there. Uh, the front caster will go in front. I will trim down the bolts to size. Those are also bolts that I just happen to have laying around. They're half inch 13s. Had a bunch of them. There's the uh, caster on the front. Uh, that just clamped down uh, with these uh, bolts trimmed off also. Uh, the steering mechanism is a piece of, uh, I think it's half inch or, or three. Uh, with a uh, piece stuck in the end, the uh, handlebar will go down and notch and uh, lock onto that bottom bolt. Uh, and oh, let's see, what am I going to put uh, tie down points there in the back so that I can uh, anchor the thing down? I'll be using these uh, screw eyes that I also just had laying around uh, and. Uh, straps will tie down. I'll put actually I moved that one there. Well, I have the two in the back there. That front one actually got moved uh, up on top of the gooseneck. Uh, and there'll be there's the mount sitting on it for fitment. Uh, so it's turned out pretty good. Um, and uh, I'll be. There's the, I had to move the uh, steering out, extend it out, uh, because as it turned, uh, it would uh, 
it would hit into that corner piece there when I made sharp turns. So I just extended it out a little bit so it would clear. Also turned it out over so that the uh, lock bolt was up on top. There's the uh, eye bolt for the tie down. And I uh, put a half inch nut onto a steel plate and bolted it down there for the landing gear. Or not the landing gear, well the leveling jack with the landing pad on. And that's a, a, a half 13 nut just tack welded to that piece of metal. And uh, it turned out pretty good. There's uh, one in the back there on each side. Uh, right there is one. And uh, then the other one's over here. And you could see the uh, tie down there also. And one on each side. You can see that one in the back there. And it's coming real close to being done. I took those uh, galvanized tower brackets off. Oh, this is the, the uh, T-bar, uh, steering bar. I took a half inch piece of conduit and cut a notch in it. You can't see the L portion of the notch there very well, but I just notched it so that it, uh, I push it in and turn it and it'll lock down. Uh, I painted it uh, mostly because I had, I tack welded the handle onto the top and I wanted to cover up my really, really ugly welds because I'm not a welder. I'm more of a hack when it comes to welding. Those uh, aluminum pieces there will be the feet for the uh, la uh, leveling jacks. Uh, so it'll uh, have a wide surface to sit down. And there it sits uh, with the telescope mount on it. Uh, the only thing not complete yet is the, uh, the landing pads that you see in the front there on, uh, are not mounted. They're not bolted to the, the uh, pad or to the leveling screw. And it, t it moves around nice, it uh, toes nice, it's uh, not top heavy. There's, there's the landing pad there. I, I drilled a quarter 20 hole, uh, a quarter inch hole for a quarter 20 bolt there, uh, countersunk it. And on the other side I uh, drilled down with a half inch uh, boring hole and so that the uh, bolt, the leveling screw would actually fit in there and not, not have any kind of chance of sliding around. And that there is totally complete how I've, I've got it. And I'll be there sitting with the uh, telescope on it. Uh, it sits very stable, very nice. And I'm really pleased with the way it's turned out. It uh, was nice and solid. I did use it that night and was, uh, was able to take some very nice pictures. And the uh, mount performed for flawlessly on the cart. Uh, of course, the grass hadn't been mowed in a while, so you can't really see the, the feet, but they just sat down onto the ground. And I used a, uh, ha a uh, screw gun to run, em, run the la uh, leveling screws down to level it out, and it worked out real well. And I hope you enjoy this video.